Hello, uh, everybody. I am come from uh, I come from Taiwan. Um, now I am a a social professor in Ming's at the Mingxi University of Science and Technology. No. Uh, I must clarify that the poster has something wrong because uh, my university not in Taipei. Uh, just uh, in Xinzhou, Taiwan. Uh, so I'm honored uh, to be uh, invited to have a talk on this section. This section is the video conference series. Today my presentation topic is voice over internet protocol in computer network. Uh, my name is Go Zhang Tin, PhD. I am a graduate from National University Double E. I got a double E PhD uh, in 2009. Despite of this uh, fact that um, I master in computer science, because in Double E of National Taiwan University has many divisions. Uh, I belong to the division of computer science. Okay, uh, uh, this is my uh, uh, pictures, uh, photo several years ago. Uh, okay, so this is my profile. Electric, it a double E Natural Town University PhD. Associate Professor of Master in uh, Master University. All my experience falls on LT, 4G, 5G, wireless computer network, uh, database, internet cloud, computer system construction, and internet promotion. Uh, all my publication include 22 SCI journal paper publication. So, I major uh, in study. Uh, so I have a month of journal paper. All the journal paper uh, is SCI index. Uh, you can, for your reference, uh, all this is my SCI publication. Journal paper. Before I just want to talk about the topic of voice over IP internet protocol. I just want to present the internet protocol architecture in order to reduce the problem of internet uh, problem. So we will layer the internet architecture by several layers. For example, vertical layer just want to um, soft the vertical uh, bit uh, formation. So just define what is one or zero in vertical layer. For example, wireless media or local land, uh, BTC. Link layer just, uh, you can imagine the, the link car is the link layer. Network layer just, uh, want to, uh, the mission of the network layer just for one computer to another computer by network over the many router just, uh, have the IP address. If a computer want to send a packet to the B by the network, so the destination of IP and source IP uh, is the mission of network layer, just uh, loading the package to the destination. Uh, for the mission of transport layer, just want to collect the transportation. 
Or oh, if the collection is too quick, must uh, slow down the sending rate. If the packet has something wrong, um, the sender must be, uh, be transmitted again uh, by uh, error correction. Uh, after all the application layer, uh, so for example, voice IP, uh, VOIP is also an application layer. Uh, all this uh, application layer may be by the transport on the transport layer to con uh, to uh, transmit the media, the traffic. For the transport, uh, the reliable, uh, reliable transmission, uh, TCP is uh, necessary. Also, if the transmission is multimedia, uh, reliable transportation is not so important. Instead, uh, the overhead must be uh, lighter, so you must use UDP. So, for uh, most of multimedia service, we use the UDP transport layer to transmit. For example, video, VOIP service, that use the UDP to transmit uh, the, the traffic. Because the UDP header is just a uh, uh, byte for the TCP header to transport the traffic is 20 byte. For the TCP must uh, have the leak transmitted again by error correction, so the overhead is very heavy. However, for the UDP, if you send the voice uh, IP packet, the packet the arriving the correction rate is not so important. Instead, the overhead must be very very small because the transmission must be real time. Uh, if you Use the VoIP to communication to with other people. Uh, we don't guarantee 100% uh, percentages uh, uh, correct, uh, arrive, arriving. Instead, most of VoIP service 90% correction rate will be nice for most of people. You cannot. Uh, uh, fears any uncomfortable uh, voice uh, click, uh, conversation. Uh, okay? Uh, physical layer uh, concern is the physical interface between computer and network. So, concern is an issue like the list of transmitting media, for example, fiber, cable, radio waves, signal level, data rate, or other related matters. Link layer has two mission. Uh, for the IP layer, the connection uh, must be uh, my router. So one connection, one connection, one connection, one connection to the destination IP. This is the network layer. However, if you want to transmit with the link network layer, link layer uh, is necessary for the link layer. Link layer uh, just a point to point communication. Uh, for example, for uh, Ethernet, uh, the two mission of the link layer is data frame formation. For example, Ethernet maximum frame size is uh, one thousand. 500 uh, 
bit, a uh, bit, not bite, sorry, a uh, bit. Collective from the physical layer. So, for a lean layer, this is a computer, this is a hub. Computer connect to the hub, it's lean layer, uh, work. Uh, many, many, many computer connect with the hub. And the hub has the nine to connect to the internet. So maybe next the uh, link uh, connection may be a router outside your home. Data flow internet protocol, just uh, we have to talk to you link layer and physical layer, IP, TCP, HTTP. For example, this is A computer, this is the B computer. For the HTTP, uh, send request to a web page. So a, a request just uh, sent by this where. So under this uh, direction, huh? for each layer must have a header, 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 and through the physical layer connect with the computer B. Uh, for the LAN layer, just uh, uh, the caption uh, removes the hater, understand communication, uh, understand the uh, information, and uh, remove the hater, remove the hater, hater. Uh, for example, uh, finally, the B computer receives the HTTP request. So this computer, maybe a server, may send the request web page by this way to the computer B. So this is the data for our internet protocol shoe. Why layer? We just use to simplify the denial of internet. For example, for the HTTP, uh, HTTP uh, denier just care about the HTTP uh, context. For the transport layer denier just care about the correction of the transportation uh, packet. Um, general for computer, TCP IP is operated by OS. For the computer, LAN is operated by LAN car. Uh, understand? So you can see how to work, how to work the data flow of the internet portal should. What is the voice over IP? Voice IP is called IP telephony. It's a methodology, a group of technology for delivery of voice uh, connection and multimedia section of an internet protocol network such as, as internet. Uh, so internet telephony, broadband telephony and broadband home service specifically refer to the provision of communication service, voice, uh, fax, SMS, voice messages over the public internet rather than the public switch telephone network, also long as the plan of telephone service. So, for the internet uh, voice IP, maybe for example 9, uh, Skype is voice over IP. Just uh, if somebody just talk with the remote computer user friend uh, to computer B, just the uh, talk, a voice will be friend, be a packet, and, and send to the computer B. This is different uh, 
PSTN uh, network. For the PSTN network, just your home, uh, your telephone, just your phone, your telephone, and through the PSTN uh, to communicate with each other, to talk with each other. This is the plain or telephone service. Uh, this is not different. So, um, why voice over IP? Because internet is published everywhere. So we want to call the telephone by your IP uh, to be uh, use all the service with one digital network. No. So we this issue will concern with two technology about the telephone home service. Uh, PSTN is a traditional PSTN is traditional circuit switching is a method of imper implementing a telecommunication network in which two network know a step a dedicated communication channel through the network before the node may communicate communicate circuit switching guarantee the full bandwidth of channel and demand connected for duration of communication service. So, this is your telephone, this is telephone. I call the telephone to you once a step. Uh, this will through many, many, many switching. So, this, uh, once the call is established, this pass will be fixed. So all these parts, the bandwidth is reserved for two, two sides. Sending side and receiving side. It's uh, reserved. So it can guarantee the full bandwidth of the channel. Uh, so you may be um, astonished that the traditional voice quality for telephone Switching, uh, circuit switching, uh, should be better because the computer, the telephone A call to the telephone B, the channel is delivered to guarantee the full bandwidth. The package, the, 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 the package to arrive to B, uh, is, uh, in, at a, a good order. Not our order. Oh. Uh, we will talk about this issue later. Package switching uh, divide the data to be transmitted into packet transmit through the network independently. So in package switching, instead of being dedicated to one communication section at a time, networking are shared by packet from multiple competing communication section. Resulting in those of quality of service guarantee that are provided by circuit switching. So, package switching, after all, the quality, the quality of service cannot be so good as search switching. It implies that voice IP quality may be worse than traditional PSTN, PST and the telephone. But however, in package switching the uh, voice IP uh, maybe have uh, efficient to use the resource. Uh, you c um, for example, maybe uh, in all networks all communication pair may be just one thousand. But however in package switching one to one uh talking maybe ten thousand oh. so the resource may be uh efficient than uh circuit switching but the quality of service may be worse 
understand yeah we uh, just can call it a uh, package switching is one uh, computer network uh, um, package switching for computer network transport traffic so for one computer network you can send um, voice video and data in all one uh, network so package switching uh, is the uh, trend main trend uh, in the voice uh, uh, transmission so uh, this is why voice over IP is so popular um, because maybe the quality of service cannot be guaranteed but however uh, the network things are shared from multiple competing communication section uh, so the this source can be more efficient uh, um, just so we can compare the circuit switch and package switch uh, for example these circuit switches <coughs> one telephone to another telephone communication through the public uh, pu circuit switch connection so this is maybe ISDN network so two network node a static a dedicated communication uh, what is dedicated just uh, this com connection communication being it just for this two node so we call uh, a dedicated uh, communication is established through the network before the no may communicate. However, if you use the package switching, one package sent to another, uh, one package is sent from computer A to computer B through the computer networks is by packet. Uh, all the law will be uh, routed by router and the router is sent is by the IP address so uh, package switching just for voice IP uh, when somebody call the telephone uh, so the voice will be packaged and sent to the network and the router will uh, according to the IP address to send the proper direction to another computer so one problem we will be mentioned in the later section if the packet A the voice packet A uh, is sent from A to computer uh, B but however the packet arrived in at the the computer B is at out of order so some packet will be dropped so the cures may be sometime uh, not so perfect however I have said that 90% uh, correction rate is already can be uh, a nice uh, qual quality for communication uh, cannot guarantee 100 percentage correction rate so uh, for the transport layer we use UDP instead of TGP to trans transport uh, voice IP address uh, we call the some uh, advantage disadvantage of circuit switching and package switching and make a comparison uh, at this table for the package circuit switching offer a dedicated transmission channel 
that is reversed until it is disconnected. Um, some advantage, uh, some disadvantage about the circuitry is dedicated channel can cause delay because the resource is not enough. You must wait until the resource is available. So, may can cause delays because a channel is un unbearable until one side disconnects. Use a dedicated physical link between the sending and descending device devices. So, the key feature of circuit switching offers the capability of storing messages temporarily to deals network congestion. For the packet switching, the advantage is the packet can be routed along the work con network congestion. So, the voice call can be efficient, cannot, uh, maybe there is no delay at all because the network resource can be used efficiently. Understand? Yeah. So, package switching make efficient use of network bandwidth. The advantage of the package switching is packet can become close. Oh, I have we all uh, have a picture uh, to illustrate what is those because if the packet arrive in another side it's uh, out of order one two three four however when it arrive in one two four three so the three packet arrive in out of order will be discussed so maybe we can't close so packet become those by taking alternative down to the destination huh? because uh, for example I illustrate for you this is a packet this is A uh, this is B so Uh, if you want to send a packet to another side, one packet may be uh, along this side, packet two along, maybe along this side, packet three, packet four. Maybe uh, packet four is uh, more efficient. Send first. Packet three, now this, uh, this way. So, Four is first uh, arrived in uh, computer B, so package three is the last will be job because the boy's uh, out of order is improper to uh, to sh to hear. So the out the packet out arriving in out of order will be dropped out. Okay, so. Divide into packet that contains source of Dinesh information. Huh? Key feature. The two types of key package switching are cataclysm and virtual circuit. Data ground packets are independent send and can take different paths through other network. Virtual circuit use a local, logical connection between the source and destination. So, uh, there are two a uh, method to send the packet by packet switching. Uh, the one type uh, data ground, the other is virtual circuit. But virtual circuit is, we call this uh, just like a circuit uh, from A and B. Uh, so all the packet just follow the circuit. So cannot be out of order. Uh, so maybe in this uh, method, uh, the QoS uh, of the voice may be uh, uh, better. Huh? VoIP is package switching, not circuit switching. Huh? I just have told you. Huh? Such an initial port protocol just want to, if you, uh, 
computer A want to code computer B, uh, computer A must initiate the section initial protocol SIP to call telephone B. Uh, all the boys BOIP signaling protocol such as SIP and H.323 use SDP section so the initial show protocol is the signal protocol used to set up VIP connection. Usually, uh, 50 VIP packets are generated per second, but a few percentage to be lost are tolerant. I have told you, maybe 5% is also perfect for your voice communication. Uh, the voice may be uh, very clear. You cannot be aware of the voice package is lost. H, uh, point three two three price standards for equipment and computer and service for multimedia communication, a class packet based network. Specify the transmission protocol for real time video, audio, and data. Uh, the details. So, H.323 uh, uh, provides standard for equipment computer service for multimedia communication. So, for example, video, voice, uh, H2, H.323 is a very important uh, standard. 3.32 0.323 is widely used in IP based video conferencing, voice over internet protocol, and internet telephonia. Its VOIP uses uh, uh, TCP or UTP. I have taught you in the first section, in the first part of my slide, I have shown you. Uh, unlike TCP, UDP is connectionless, which means that the data packet can be sent without warning, preparation, and negotiation. Uh, uh, error correction and send the packet again. No, UDP lack any kind of error control. Luckily, real-time communication services such as VIP don't require a completely reliable transport layer protocol, which allow UDP to try. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, you can see the network architecture for the voice IP the sensible layer we use the UDP and application layer with uh, RTP and voice uh, POIP application uh, network. Uh, okay, so so if we uh, use the network architecture to tell you why VIP is by UTP, not by TCP, because TCP is uh, reliable transmission, but however, for multimedia transmission, we you we want not we don't want reliable, but instead we want uh, less uh, have less uh, overhead. Uh, the overhead may be hey, uh, lighter. For example, UTP header just uh, eight byte. VIP, uh, TCP header can be up to 20 byte. TCP must, uh, have the error control. However, UTP don't need to do, perform any uh, error control and be send, uh, the packet. For the VIP bandwidth, uh, we, Maybe uh, curious uh, uh, how large uh, of the bandwidth for VIP transmission. Uh, 
So, for a VIP, we must uh, sample analog voice into packet. Total bandwidth constraint depend on the compression codec. Codec type to be used can be negotiated per code section and can be pretty confused from the beginning. A free codec type are presented a lot below along with the perceived code rate. For example, G723AR63 with 48 by payload. The code rate in this code deck may be 6.3 kilo BBS. In this code rate may be 8 kilo BBS, uh, 8 kilo BBS. Uh. So to be able to correctly plan the bandwidth requirement of the wise one links for carrying voice traffic, the final formula need to be considered. Uh. So, voice frequency, voice band is one of frequency with the part audio use. Um, I just want to tell you, um, the voice of human meaning, uh, frequency just, uh, around at uh, the 300 hertz to 3400 hertz. Uh, um, maybe for the female, female, for girl, the voice uh, frequency may be high. For higher, for the a man, their frequency, voice frequency may be lower, maybe 300 hertz. Okay. So, uh, this is written why the ultra low frequency band of electric electromagnetic spectrum between 300 to 3000 hertz it also differ a voice frequency in the electromagnetic energy that different acoustic energy at the base band. So the bandwidth allocates of single voice frequency transmission channel users we call 4K uh, kilohertz. So total bandwidth requirement for the VOIP transmission, we must uh, consider layers overhead, IP, UTP, RTP overhead, and the payload side, and by payload side, divided by zero pi, and multiplied by core deck rate. IP, UTV, RTV hater have more or less a constant sign. IP has a 20 byte hater. UTP consists of an 8 byte hater. RTV has a 12 byte hater. The turn in the formula that are variable are layer 2 hater and payload side. The latter depend on the contact yield, Why the first depend on the thin layer protocol. So, Ethernet, HTLC, friend today, PPP, ETC. So, according to the formula this in the previous page, we can calculate the bandwidth requirement for the HTLC data link protocol. Approximately 6 by header side for the third contact type presented above. For example, this cortex, the bandwidth for voice one section VOIP need 12.3 kilo, kilo bit per second. For this coding, uh, coding type, uh, maybe up to 17 point two kilo bit per second. So um, in real application for voice IP we we all compress the header to reduce overhead of real IP. For example IP IP header, UTP header, RTP header 
uh, total 40 bytes. But however, if we compress the header, the header size can be up to only 2 to 5 bytes. So the overhead can be uh, can be uh, reduced. So the transportation may be efficient. Quality of service uh, is a very important issue for the voice IP. So essentially a service that prioritize certain data structure by showing this important data packet down. This important packet can reach the destination as quick as possible. The server with high priority get to pass through the routing first, router first, allowing the delay they might experience without QoS states. Typically, router use a FIFO method and this setting up QoS for VIP can help Correct, uh, choppy audio, some other configuration has been uh, enabled, such as QoS tagging. So, how to monitor the QoS of VIP? You can use the Cisco IP SLA this software. How does a boy IP monitoring software do? A VoIP and analytic monitoring software help in monitoring voice call in a voice IP system for call usage checking and performance analysis. An efficient voice IP monitoring tool can help you visualize and pinpoint call issue over the entire network. Monitor your voice IP performance along the bandwidth and traffic construction specific Troubleshoot packet loss, latency, jitter, among the other factors in the VRP system. So, use this software can monitor all the uh, factors, indicating how good of the voice IP quality. For example, packet loss rate, latency, jitter, uh, and other factors in a uh, voice IP system. Is Skype is a VoIP application? Sure. Uh, Skype, uh, we just you in the uh, beginning of this section, we use Skype to say hello to everybody. So Skype is a VoIP application. Sure, no problem. Uh, even uh, Skype can use uh, Skype out. Uh, this is a computer network. This is a PST and uh, this is a PST and a telephone. You can call the telephone by network VoIP to one another computer node. You also can call to another another telephone number. Uh, so for the sky uh, sky out. Is very 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 cheap. Uh, even you call the international call uh, can be very cheap. Um, for the Skype out uh, is uh, I show for you. This is your home. This is the home telephone. Uh, this is uh, Indian. Uh, this is uh, my computer. So I called uh, your telephone to a uh, uh, computer B, and this computer just call a local uh, telephone to the de destination telephonia com telephonia telephone number. So the total cost can be reduced because you must uh, only the for the Skype Skype out just uh, off uh, just uh, pay the local telephone number fare not international not international uh, telephone fare understand so Skype out 
can be very, very, very cheap to call international call. Uh, on the other hand, Skype uh, also have a Skype in. Skype in, if you have a Skype on, uh, on the internet, uh, my telephone in my house can call the sky in to you. Also, it's very, 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 very cheap. Uh, just uh, the the cost uh, is just like uh, sky out. It's very cheap. Uh, VoIP in 4G and future 5G. 4G support one package 3G network to transfer all kind of network services, including VoIP. The core network of LTE can avoid the packet arrive in and out of order so that QoS of VoIP can be maintained at high speed. For example, if I computer A communication with the computer E, one, two, three, four, packet is sent out. However, for the computer B, they say friend one, uh, packet one, packet two, hey, but packet four is first uh, received. The packet three is uh, the last. So this is out of order. This packet will be discarded. So the choice may be not so good. But however, for a 4G LT network, in the core network, uh, in this core network, uh, QoS will be maintained and some packet will be the first priority to be sent. So for a VoIP in the LT and the feature 5G network, the QoS may be very good. This is, I just want to explain this idea. This is my reference. Uh, thanks for your listening. Uh, welcome you all of you come to the Taiwan for traveling. Because Taiwan is a beautiful country. We don't belong to China, and you know. China is China, Taiwan is Taiwan, you must know. So, Taiwan just uh, beside uh, China. So, Welcome is an island, a very large island. I welcome all of you come to Taiwan for traveling. Thank you very much for your listening.